Former FBI Director James Comey blasted President Donald Trump for being morally unfit to lead our country. In return, Trump just smoked Comey with three brutal words that you won't want to miss. James Comey has taken the dignity of his formerly held position at the helm of the FBI to an all-time low. In a disturbing interview with ABC News host George Stephanopoulos on Sunday, April 15, 2018, Comey peeled back the very last layer of his stoic exterior to reveal just how ugly and politicized our intelligence community has become. During the interview, Stephanopoulos said, You write that President Trump is unethical, untethered to the truth. Then, he asked, is Donald Trump unfit to be president, to which Comey responded, yes, but not in the way I often hear people talk about it. Comey continued, I don't buy the stuff about him being mentally incompetent or in the early stages of dementia. He strikes me as a person of above average intelligence woes tracking conversations and knows what's going on. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. Who would have ever thought that a former FBI director would stoop so low in an attempt to take revenge for being fired, as Comey lays out his poisonous narrative in the interview, it gives viewers a scary look at just how horrified the left became after Trump won the election. Comey's face and his words reveal the utter contempt that he and a large majority of government officials felt and still feel toward the president. During the interview, James Comey also suggested that President Donald Trump could be guilty of obstruction of justice. In my opinion, it's going to be extremely awkward for Comey when he is the one who faces criminal charges in the future. Comey's audacity is unbelievable as he spins lie after lie about our president. The former FBI director should keep in mind that it was not Trump who illegally leaked classified information and who actively participated in a sham investigation into a fairly elected president as part of a political war. Comey may be getting his moment in the spotlight to portray Trump as morally unfit, but he won't have a leg to stand on when he's sitting in front of a judge with the entire nation expecting justice for his wrongdoing. The former FBI director's nasty resentment for President Donald Trump completely removes all doubt that he was ever a servant of the American people. Comey comes across as an elitist and a political holier-than-thou creature of the swamp, and the liberal media is now hanging on his every word. At such a crucial moment in our history, it's invaluable for American patriots to hear directly from the president. On Monday, April 16, 2018, Trump smoked Comey with a brutal response on Twitter and, at the same time, provided his supporters with better insight into the ongoing battle against the deep state. Comey drafted the crooked Hillary exoneration long before he talked to her, lied in Congress to Senator G, then based his decisions on her poll numbers. Disgruntled, he, McCabe, and the others committed many crimes. Trump wrote. Trump's summation of the events which took place at the highest levels of our country's top law enforcement agency is flawless. As Comey conspired and acted to help Hillary Clinton escape justice, he betrayed the American people and our constitutional code of ethics. Comey is the traitor from within, and other deep state operatives 
like former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, attempted to help him hide Clinton's corruption. Now that Inspector General Michael Horowitz's report on McCabe has revealed so much complicity, the Department of Justice must appoint a second special counsel to investigate James Comey's crimes.